To go to our Christmas tree. <laughs> Say hi, Ella. Hi, Ella. <laughs> so it's December 3rd. It's December 3rd, and we live in Oregon, so we typically get our Christmas tree at a U pick. Oregon is one of the places in the country where um, Christmas trees are sourced, so uh, you don't have to go very far to get one. Look at the lights. <laughs> I did turn them on. Mom, ready? Give me a hug. Okay. Can you come say hi? Come sit on my lap. yourself right there? Ah. Hi! Ah. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, shoot. Ah, 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 yeah. Say hello, people. Hello, 
people. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Say Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. All right, go watch Puffin Rock. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Good morning and happy Vlogmas, everybody. Um, I am going to be doing weekly vlogs instead of daily vlogs because daily vlogs are a lot of work. And I, yeah. For me, December this year is definitely about embracing the darkness, taking some time to rest, to relax, to kind of be still and creative, um, but only on projects that I'm feeling inspired to work on. I'm not pressing myself to do anything. I'm not joining in on the hustle and bustle that especially um, we sort of do here in America, which I have to say, it feels really strange. Um, I, I really try to go against the sort of consumerism Christmas thing that we do here. And every year around this time, I start to feel anxiety that I haven't done enough and that by not participating in that sort of stressful frenzy, I'm also somehow not participating in like the Christmas spirit, <laughs> which sounds absurd. And I know that, but it's just, I don't know. Um, it's a cultural thing. For some reason, that's how we are here. Um, you're going to hear my daughter. She's, I'm in, in the dining room right now and we're just kind of in the same room together. So... Uh, she might come over and say hi at some point, too. We'll see. But, um, yeah, it was in November, uh, early November, that I, I was looking at this giant list of things that I wanted to make for everybody this year. Um, and I was sort of thinking about it logistically and, like, thinking about how I was going to block my time out to get it all done. And I just... I just said, no, I'm not going to do this. I... I've already thought of a gift for everybody. Um, it's really simple, but it's thoughtful. And I put it together back in, in, in the middle of summer. I don't want to talk about what it is exactly because just in case a friend or family member is watching. But I just realized I was putting too much pressure on myself and I have been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety, especially this year. Um, so I decided that no knitting. I was not gonna knit any gifts for anybody this year. I was just gonna take it easy on myself and focus on personal knitting projects or projects that inspire me. So that's what I'm doing. But I do kind of wanna share some of the things I've made in the past just because, I don't know, I really like them. There was one year, I think it was three or four years ago where I just made a ton of these Christmas baubles. And it's one of those things where you read the pattern and then you kind of make up things after you do one you just kind of make them up as you go at some point i think i would like to make more of these but with like you know reindeer or trees or uh maybe some more advanced color work um because i love these um and it's a really easy christmas ornament type of thing that you can you can give these away these are really cool to give away as um uh, gifts for coworkers. These are also really the only ornament that we have on our tree aside from twinkle lights this year because my daughter, um, she likes to play with everything on the tree. So, and I don't mind if she plays with these. I have a bunch of these shells upstairs somewhere um, that haven't been filled. So they just need to be filled with polyfill closed and uh, added a little crochet chain. So I might do that this year. I think there's about 12 of them. And I might make more, but probably not this year. And then last year for everybody, I made these hot water bottle cozies. And each one was a little bit different. Again, I found a pattern and I think the pattern was basically, this is exactly what the pattern was. Um, but after I made the first one or two, I just kind of deviated and did my own thing. Um, there were some that were color blocked, like seed stitch and then stockinette. There were some that had cables going up the sides. I basically used um, these hot water bottle cozies as my major stash busting project for 2016. And that was what helped enable me to get down to zero stash at the beginning of the year. I do not have zero stash right now, it's far from it, especially since I've started dying. But um, if you are looking for something to... Uh, to do to get rid of all those scraps of yarn, those last little bits. Uh, something like this is great. I'll try to include a link to the 
Ravelry pattern or maybe just my project page for these in the down bar. Um, and I love to see what other people make for Christmas. I did have a project in mind for this year, um, but I think that I am going to hold off on that and do it next year, but I'm probably gonna start early. <laughs> Cause I just, I've decided that I am not gonna stress out whatsoever in December anymore. I'm done with that. So um, yeah. Say hi camera. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. She loves the Christmas lights. You can make some, Mama. That one is broken. Oh, don't put that in my water. <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to say for now. I have a few projects on the needles, but I'm working on one project um, kind of exclusively right now because it's one of those things that if I don't keep working on it, I'm gonna stop, and I don't want to. I don't want to stop in the middle and kind of have it be lingering. I want to just get it done because it's another sweater for my daughter, and um, once I finish this sweater, I think I'm gonna be done knitting her sweaters for a little while at least. It's a project that requires some intarsia color work and I've never done that before. So um, yeah, once again, just kind of teaching myself some new techniques. Um, I'm working on a sleeve now because I have the front and the back pieces blocking and um, I'll probably show you that right now. I am trying to finish this before the beginning of the year so I can kind of approach 2018 with a blank slate in terms of uh, projects on my needles. I mean, I have my Irish jug, but that is something that I've sort of scheduled to finish in 2018. So I'm not worried about that at all. And I think my next project uh, will be a pair of colorwork mittens. Don't hold me to it, but that's uh, kind of what I'm thinking right now. So I think I'm gonna just end things right here and I hope you guys are having a wonderful first week of December and that you're taking it easy and you're not feeling too stressed out. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.